Hey, Viking fans, we learned today it's a game of inches, and we came up short. Let's talk about it next in three, two, one. Gather around, school brothers and sisters. This is School World, brought to you by Minnesota Sports Talk. I'm your host, Dave. You can follow me on Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook at School World. What a heartbreaker! We felt like we had it the whole game. Couple of couple of highlights to talk about, but you know we lost the game 27-24 in overtime. But a couple of highlights, good and bad. Nick Mullins. Couple bonehead throws early in the game led to interceptions. Not sure where he was throwing it to. Even his touchdown late in the game, where first and goal at the one yard line, throw that out the back of the end zone. I question why don't we run it on that that first try? Uh, but no, Nick Mullins, let's throw it out the back of the end zone. No, he throws it across his body. Addison scores for a touchdown. Holy crap! But that's what we're gonna get with Nick Mullins. He's a he's a gunslinger. He is Kirk Cousins uh, during last year's Buffalo game, but all the time. That is Nick Mullins. But honestly, he ran the offense almost as good my because the Aaron throws almost as good as Kirk Cousins did. Uh, what do you have? Uh, 26 for 33, 303 yards, 9.2 average. Two TDs, two picks. He got three sacks. 99.9 quarterback rating. It was a little 80s most of the game. Popped up when he scored that last touchdown. Um, and then we couldn't get six and in- four inches. I said four inches on the final play to get a first down. I have one person complaining that we didn't kick the field goal. It'd have been 58, 59, somewhere in the half yard mark, and it would have been. Greg Joseph kicking it from 59 yards. I much rather go for it and get the inches. Better play. We didn't get it. We didn't get it. And we all know why. Uh, well, on that second one, I mean, Reisner got just ate up. He just got blown into the backfield, knocked off his feet. His feet kicked Nick Mullins. And then we on two we ran the play exactly the same twice and in both times Powell, Brandon Powell, who is like five, eight, 185 pounds, second smallest, lightest guy on the team next to Addison. Probably. Yeah. I'd say he's probably the lightest, second lightest guy on the team next to Addison. And he's our tush pusher. So we all know that that was a bad mistake, but I'm not throwing this game on KOC. You know what? We gave up three touchdowns in the fourth quarter. I'm not even giving it to Brian Flores. I'm giving it to individual efforts. If it's Reisner on the last play of the game blocking, it's, well, KOC, I'm not going to lie. Putting Powell in, the dude to be the touch pusher on two straight plays, where does that play design come from? Where does it come from? I don't know. You know, I mean, the reason why that works in Philly is because they're, you know, you know, their quarterback, squats over 500 pounds and they got the best center in the league. We, we have, we're okay, but Riser's not known for his run blocking and we're going over the left side. The tush push helps, but only if you got a guy pushing, get, I mean, put, oh, man, we got two big ass, three big ass tight ends. Have one of them do it. Or just, don't fake anything and just have them be right behind and push. That's legal. Come on, guys. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna take that one to my grave. I I don't get it. But a lot of positive things. So highlighting some positive things. You got Ty Chandler being our first running back since week 10 of last year to get over a hundred yards, 23 carries, 132 yards, 5.7 average. He had he broke that one, almost got a touchdown, 30 uh yard longest. He had a 24 yard and a 30 yarder. Both probably the two longest. I think I think uh Mattis had had one for 24 against the, 
the Bears, two longest runs of the year. He should be your starting running back. No questions. No, not even a question to me because that's what we wanted. We wanted to be able to break a couple. We can break them with Ty Chandler. So there you have it. Shout out to Ty Chandler. Kenny Nwongo got one carry. One carry. Nick Mullins, uh, six carries. A uh, couple of, a few scrambles, right? Uh, Jordan Addison, six receptions for 111 yards. Great day. He's back in business. Got two TDs. He went from six to getting none the last five weeks to getting another, again, getting two in one game when we put a new quarterback in there. What a transformation. Justin Jefferson had a great game, seven catches for 84 yards. And whoa, what those catches were great. Great catches. You notice Mullins threw a more catchable ball. Didn't hang him out to dry. He, hang, he hung nobody out to dry in this game. Uh, he had a few errant throws. He had one that should have been picked. He was throwing, and then the pick six, guy was off. Guy was off sides. I saw that all the way. That was a free play. But yeah, that was a. We're go- He's gonna make a mistakes, and hopefully he gets a little more comfortable next week. He doesn't make as many, but we have an offense with him. We, if we go to team statistics right now, let me uh, let me talk about the uh, players first. I'll go to team statistics, but TJ Hawkinson, six for 63. He was going to be my big stud of the week. He, he, he was up there, right? He's third on the team. Fourth, if you count Ty Chandler. Ty Chandler had another 25 yards receiving on three catches, 8.3 yards. Josh Oliver, that's the guy you should be tush pushing with. Johnny Munt, KJ Osborne. On their side, they didn't run the ball at all. 22 for 80 yards, one TD. Uh, the Jake Browning, 324 yards, right? And most of that was in the second half. Most of it was in the fourth quarter. Cameron Bynum, nine lettuce and tackles. Ivan Pace Jr., nine tackles. He, he didn't get a tackle on Mixon at the goal line. Uh, on fourth down, they scored a touchdown. Tied the game, kicked a field goal, tied the game. That that could have been a stop. That could have been a stop. Does Joe? Uh, does Hicks miss that tackle? Does Hicks miss, miss that tackle? I don't think he does. Uh, you know, a couple things. Evans got beat a couple times. He got he got a pick. Someone mossed him to get the tying touchdown in the game. But holy crap, rookie mistake. Mikel Blackman, who leads the game with one tackle, absolutely abandoned the play that Evans got beat on by got mossed on at the goal line. Literally got he just he was a conscientious observer on that play. Mikel Blackman watched the play. He thinks it's going out of bounds or it's going to be incomplete. He's celebrating before it freaking happens. Just standing there watching it. And lets it happen. That's why I'm not blaming Brian Flores on this because there was individual efforts. And honestly, Browning had a couple crazy good throws that allowed them, you know, to allowed it to happen. Right. So get a lot of credit to Browning, who is making this his personal vendetta after he beat us. He shouldn't have cut us. He, he yells into the uh, camera. He, he was letting out all his feelings in the post game. But, uh, hey, it happens. It happens. It's the NFL. But, yeah, Jake Browning is happy. Uh, Brian Flores, I, I don't see too much wrong with what he did today. Um, there was just – his zone was a little soft. I think, uh, you know, third and 24, you give up a first down easily. Why? How is that guy getting that deep and that wide open? I don't know. Um, Harrison Smith, I think – let a guy behind him. Thank God he overthrew him. So, honestly, a lot of individual efforts on defense cost us this game. We we played well enough to win most of the game until the fourth quarter, right? Most of the way, we play, played pretty hell of a game. We gave up three touchdowns in a row, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know, guys. Things, uh, things we got to fix. Turnovers. We lost the turnover battle again. 
Running game was there. Awesome. Passing game was there. Just mistakes by Mullins. Um, would Jaron Hall play any better? I don't know. I don't think he I don't think he is as willy-nilly with the ball as Mullins is, but hey, Mullins can play football, and I'm okay with him. Uh, if he does another throws what should have been four picks the next game, too, and then yeah, let's talk about getting Jaron Hall in there. But I think I think our offense played great. I we there was a couple individual efforts of uh, you know getting sacks, getting us behind the chains, a few dumb penalties like uh, you know you know just a few penalties, gave up a few sacks, but it was a lot cleaner game than the last two by far. Uh, I we can we can still we can still we can still have a chance to win the division if the Detroit loses this week. Uh, so we can have that happen, but we still, we still can make the playoffs. We still control our destiny making the playoffs. Uh, we need to, Detroit to lose an extra game now to win the division. Uh, it can happen. It can happen. Vikings, tell me what you think in the comments below. What your key plays were? I mean, there was a lot of good things up about this game. Really, the individual effort on some of a de- on, de- on the plays on defense were just lacking, allowed for big plays, and that's why we lost the game. Tell me what you think at the bottom. Skull Vikes. Cue the music. 